Today was set to be moving day for people living at the extended suites off the I-65 service road. Well, the city says the owners owe more than $460,000 in taxes and penalties. A judge ordered the motel to close. The owner cut power off a week ago. One desperate couple who didn't know where they were going to go got some welcome relief today. But we got everything packed and ready. Diane Day and Carol Silvers loaded everything they own in a Walmart shopping cart, uncertain where they'd roll their belongings to. They don't have a car to transport their things or a place to take them to. Pretty much threw away half of some things. We don't keep a whole lot of stuff. They've been living in the motel room for two years, paying $200 a week in rent. The city says the motel owner, KNA Family LLC, wasn't paying taxes and owes more than $460,000. On October 6, a judge issued a padlock order closing the motel. On multiple occasions, Social Services has been to the site trying to find people housing alternatives, but Day says nothing's panned out for them. She says she's calling other hotels when she can. With no power at the motel now, she walks to Walmart to charge her cell phone, but still hasn't found anything they can afford. Most of them are three, three fifty, four, and the normal person on SSI usually gets nine fifteen a month. So this was economical and it was in budget. Multiple units with mobile police along with mental health services were on scene overseeing people moving their things today to meet the 1 p.m. deadline to leave. But as the deadline passed, Day was given some good news. She has a little more time to make calls and figure out what's next. So it's exciting, 12 noon tomorrow, and then we have to be out. So another 24 hours. There's a similar situation unfolding at the other Extended Suites location in Tillman's Corner, owned by the same company. Ty, at 6 o'clock, we talk with the mayor about what's next for these properties and the challenges the city's facing with them. For the latest updates on this story and more, be sure to follow NBC15 on Facebook, X, Instagram, and at MyNBC15.com.